So for some reason many people like to wash their TVs with water and soap. Water and electronics don't go well together so this is what can happen. This is a 46 inch Samsung TV and this is how water damage may look like. It may also have other symptoms like not turning on at all or having lines all over the screen etc. And this can happen when the TCON board and the connection to the LCD panel is on the bottom like in this TV. First we will have to remove the outer frame in the back. Fortunately in this case we don't have to remove, uh, we don't have to disassemble the whole um, the whole screen because the damage is right here next to these these cables on the, on the lower boards. Yeah, this is already cleaned, but yeah, we see it here. These all these um, traces are just eaten away, and this is how it looked like originally. So these, of course, have to be repaired. These traces. What what causes most often problems are the capacitors and the resistors that are nearby, because they're their terminals are also corroded and what I've seen often also are capacitors that are shorted for some reason. So here we have a closer look. First we clean this up with, uh, I use alcohol for that and then usually I will just remove all the parts that, are, that have bad uh, terminals. Usually you will find some symmetry on these boards, so the values of defective components can be deduced by measuring good ones, or much simpler just put in relatively high value ceramic caps of the correct package size and more than 50 volts, for example, and you can't go wrong with that. I usually go with anything between 100 nanofarad and a couple of microfarad and never had a problem with that. So here we replace the uh, resistors and caps and the problem disappears. Thanks for watching and good luck.